we take you to La Paz, one of my favorite cities in all of Baja. Fishing rooster fish with the tail hunter fleet. Jonathan Jilly, tail hunter. Guess we're getting it done today, man. Then we have a great evening touring the finest taco stands the city has to offer. That is good. This is blast, though. La Paz is an awesome city. Come with us as we discover the flavors and the magic of La Paz. Crazy good. <laughs> La Paz, the city of pearls, has a deeply rooted history of Spanish conquest, who settled this wonderful natural harbor several hundred years ago, bringing religion and commerce to the local indigenous tribes. La Paz is literally surrounded by some of the finest beaches in the entire Sea of Cortez. Amazing boating opportunities exist from several well-appointed marinas. And great real estate deals can be had for a fraction of what is available in other Baja Sur regions. Just as Jill and Jonathan Roldan discovered when they opened the Tail Hunter restaurant. a full-service fishing charter operation that can handle all of your accommodations, transportation to, from, and in the lovely city of La Paz. After fishing, I twisted Jonathan's arm to take us on a private tour of his longtime favorite eateries. This is amazing. Save room, guys. We got a lot of tacos to eat. It's a sprint, not a marathon tonight. <laughs> but I am famished. This long stretch of coastline is now an Embarcadero, which is enjoyed every night of the year by tourists and residents alike. Nothing beats the sunsets in La Paz, where a stunning day's end is celebrated with the anticipation of an evening's festivity. An early morning drive from La Paz to Bahia Los Sueños ends when Jorge and I load into a tail hunter ponga and head off in search of today's targeted species, all the while under the expert guidance of longtime guide, El Dolfo. Ten of these big, beautiful baits, we're gonna catch a nice big rooster. Oh! Check this out. They got the double hook going. They put the small hook on the bait, and the biggest. What a trip. Do you see the rooster? Big rooster. See yellow I'm a bit, I'm a bit, I'm a bit. Come on. You're a bit too. Oh yeah. Yeah, you're on. Awesome. I'm bit too. Double hook up on big roosters. It's crazy. That's the cool thing about these fish. It's almost like fishing a marlin. Where you're just seeing them just chewing the bait on the surface. Look at the back on that thing. How awesome is this? Oh man, what a toad. Boom. Look at that dude. That's 40 plus. Easy. I knew that fish wasn't ready to come in the boat. Yow! What a toad! What a massive toad! Wow! Super, super cool fish. An inshore species here all throughout the Baja. You'll see this rooster dorsal fin come up when they're feeding, and, and uh, it's just a, an awesome fish to fish, man. Bam, baby! <laughs> Woo! Jorge! It's pretty strong. Caught our bait, fishing about 30 minutes. You know, Adolfo was smart. Some of these pongo, pongueros, they were catching their bait and going around the lighthouse to fish those areas. And he knew, with this much bait here, there's gonna be big roosters here too. So we just sat here and trolled these, these bait schools just on the outside of them. And sure enough, man, let the live bait schools be your chum. God, you got a lot of pressure there. You're still smoking now. Cool pressure. Yeah. Ooh la la. Good God. Oh my God. Toad. What a toad. Woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> what a morning, man. Double hook up on the roosters right off the bat. Those big baits are everything. 
Nothing is eating those big baits but a big rooster. That's the cool thing about fishing those things. <laughs> Tail hunter, get the done. <laughs> Awesome. Destination Baja Sur proudly thanks our product sponsors Kobe and Footwear, Suzuki Marine, Ingle Coolers, Mojo Sportswear, Avet Reels, Cousins Tackle, Halco Lures, Q Max Lubricants. I teased you with it earlier, Man. and now it's time I bring these tacos to you personally. Bam! Taco night, babe! Let's eat. First stop of the night is the El Sombroso, famous for their El Pastor seared pork tacos. And as the name suggests, they were the tasty one. That is legit pastor. Wow. <laughs> There's so many flavors in this. This is boneless pork. It's got chili, it's got spices, and it's got pineapple juice, and it's marinated. Originally, it was a Lebanese uh, dish that was brought over in the late 1800s. A lot of folks think this is Mexican, but actually the Lebanese brought it over with the French at the end of the 1800s. And it's, it's become a staple of Mexican culture. Oh, Excelente. First round, baby. Then we hit the Taqueria El Chino, the hot spot for insane carne asada tacos. Cover me, Mick. <laughs> How'd you find this place, John? You travel the back streets, you look for where all people are all congregated, you find out where everybody's lined up, you see where the lights are, and you realize they're eating, you take a stop, you park yourself and you eat something. Simple. Look at all the different salsas we have here. We're gonna go to a couple other places and their salsas will be completely different yeah. as well. And that's what makes it fun. You just mix, you match, you try different things, every bite's a different flavor. Mm -hmm. From tacos to another Mexican delicacy, where barbecued carne asada meets a beautiful baked potato. So Johnny, what is this absolute concoction of yumminess? This is the Mexican version of a stuffed potato. They're roasted, they're kept in tinfoil. When you order them, they bust them open, they put cream, they put butter, cheese, carne asada, whatever meat you want, and then you just ladle all kinds of salsas on top of it. Mm. This is like a baked potato souffle with a carne asada and it's salsas everything. and cheese. And this is such an amazing experience. And a lot of folks don't realize how good the food is mm -hmm. away from the establishment type of places. Yep. You just come out and eat on the street and meet people and talk to people and eat local food. Yeah, yeah it is local food. This tastes like somebody's mom made this for us today. Actually, it is somebody's mom. All of these places are family-owned places. That's why they're so different, because everybody makes it a little bit different than the last place. This is blast, though. La Paz is an awesome city. The hot dogs. You thing. want everything on it? Get it. Feel it. He's busy. <laughs> He's rolling right now. That's it. This is street food at its finest. This is Mexican hot dogs, so let's have a go at it. <laughs> Mexican hot dogs. I've seen these stands for years. I've never tried one. If it's not messy, it's not good. It's like Mexican sweet bread for the bun. Mm -hmm. It's hot dogs wrapped in bacon with cream, ketchup, mustard, onions, chilies. Phenomenal. For about a buck. Yeah. No wonder everybody's at the stand. This place is packed. Fuente. La Fuente. Ice cream, This huh? place is famous, man. Is it really? Mango de San Bartolo. The cream content is really high. Mm. Yummy. Real cane sugar, handmade. This has to be everybody's favorite stop at the end of the night, huh? It is. I've been here at 2 o'clock in the morning, and there's a Ooh. line out the door. It's a family-run operation, just like every place we've been to. Proud of what they do, and this is considered one of the best in the world. Best ice cream oh, ever. Is that good or what? The best. One more taco stand? One more taco stand. <laughs> more, more taco. Oh, you're oh, high on man. life. Oh, you're high on life. La Paz, a city full of scrumptious culinary surprises. <laughs> the rooster fish are still crowing, and we are answering those calls. Oh, 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 oh. Jorge's on. Jorge is on again. Good one. Good one. I got a tail kick. I'm good. Come on. Double hook up. Sweet. Ah, there's mine back. Fish still doesn't know he's hooked. Oh, Wahoo. Yeah. You got bit by a Wahoo? Yeah. Unreal. Fish got some shoulders. <laughs> Just pressure in my hands. It's good fish. I've had a top shot on three times now, and he's just sees the boat. He's dogging me. <laughs> oh, 
dog and me. <laughs> oh no, there it goes again. Hold on, Poppy. You need only retreat. You need only relax. Top shot, back on again. I've always loved catching rooster fish, and their tenacity is the reason why. Deep color. Deep color. Come on, you done? One wine, one wine, one wine. Good fish. My God, look at that. Massive! Yeah. Woo! What a donkey! <laughs> what a donkey! Oh my God. This rooster fish, which Jorge and Adolfo estimated at 70 pounds, was my biggest oh, ever. Right. Hang on the line. Hang on the line. Hang on the line. Hang on the line. I got it. All right. Coming in one, two, three. Okay, I'm putting him back in, man. Ah. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Come here, dude. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kathy Tan. <laughs> beautiful fish, man. Oh, hey. What do you think, big man? Oh, yes. Beautiful fish. Beautiful fish. 60, 70 pounds. That's the biggest rooster fish I've ever caught in my life. Right here in the pod. How about some fish bumps? Yeah. It was a day of fishing I'll never forget. Yeah. Absolutely, seriously. Absolutely. Now it's breakfast time in La Paz, and the choices at the Mercado Bravo are endless. A bevy of fresh foods all under one roof is where locals come daily to converse and immerse themselves in this traditional Mexican marketplace. You know, never been a big fan, dude, but maybe I've been eating it wrong. Or at the wrong place. Or this at is, the wrong this place. This is Lupita's. We're here at the Mercado Bravo. This is not an unusual Sunday morning breakfast. What's that saying? There's a thin line between Saturday night and Sunday morning. <laughs> a really so thin if, line if sometimes. If you've had a fun Saturday night, this is a great place to start your Sunday morning right with a licuado, which is a, a juice drink, and then some great menudo, some tacos, we have homemade empanadas going on. You put some ceboyas on top, you throw some lime into it, some cilantro, and you go to town. Yeah? These are all family places and everybody knows everyone. You're basically serving your neighbors. You know, this is one of those places you'll never see it on a TripAdvisor review. You won't see it on Yelp or Google or anything like that. You've got to get out or ask somebody, where would you go? When you hook up with a local, ask your taxi driver, where, where do you eat with your family? And go to one of those places. And this is that kind of place. Incredible. This is Destination Baja right here. You're absolutely, absolutely. Destination Baja Sur extends its gratitude to our location sponsors, Puerto Los Cabos, La Paz Tourism Board, Villa del Palmar Resort, Baja Sur Tourism Board, Cache Beach Resort, Solomon's Landing Restaurant, Los Cabos Tourism Board, Bahia Hotel, Sur Beach Club. La Paz is also famous for its epic fine dining options. This is Sources Restaurant. It's been here almost two years. It's become one of the most popular restaurants in town. It's, it's a little enclave. It's, it's an old courtyard. We're in the historic section of, of La Paz right now. Yeah. So what do we order tonight? Well, we're gonna have Soriana. This has been aged 32 months. They awesome. age their own meats here and serve it on some of their own breads. They make their own breads. They make their own sauces and everything here. Everything's handmade. Mm. It's a lovely tuna. Perfectly aged, just melts. Mm. Outstanding. Outstanding. From Sorstis and its colonial Spanish cuisine, we visit the most famous seafood restaurant in all of La Paz. It's a Bismarck. <laughs> <laughs> Every time you come to La Paz, if you want to eat seafood, this has been this has been a staple since 1968 or something. This is an iconic restaurant. It's had a couple other places, but this is the one that's established right on the Malacan and it keeps growing and growing. The food keeps getting more and more phenomenal. I mean, look at this spread we've got here. So these are chocolate clams from Loreto. Bill, no, these are local clams. These come from La Paz waters. These are huge. These are fresh. 
You squeeze a little lime on them, they'll give you the little wiggle. These are fresh right out of the water. And then we have a couple of ways of uh, doing the oysters here. Yeah, we've got uh, Oysters Rockefeller, mm -hmm. the classic Oysters Rockefeller well, with spinach and, and cheese on it. And then we've got something that I've never had here, with Chipotle oysters done mm -hmm. on the grill. So it looks like it's a little spicy and it's got melted cheese and it's got a big juicy oyster inside and they're calling our names. They are. What you do with them, squeeze a little lime, then you've got all these different salsas, so you, you mix and match. Each bite's a different flavor. These are so fresh. Amazing. The Bismarckcito, mm -hmm. it's an iconic place. You've got to come here to visit. Time for a nightcap for some Italian cuisine at the Il Rustico. Wow. This has been a oh. culinary <laughs> extravaganza of La Paz and, tonight. And we're still going at it. This is so good. You know, you can hear it from table to table, little bits of conversation popping mm -hmm. through the breeze. It's all Italian. What Italians a eating at an Italian place. Every one of the restaurants has a completely different personality. Yeah. These people are legitimately happy to see you come to their establishments. Each yeah. one stands on its own. There's, there's a, such a uniqueness in every one of these because mm -hmm. each one is run by a different family. Yeah. I'm just bummed that Jilly wasn't here to join us this week. We do miss her. She would have been great. Oh my God, we love her. And uh, I just want to thank you, John. You're like, from it's the bottom of my heart, buddy. It's been a treat, it's brother. It's been awesome. Always great to spend time with you. It's awesome. <laughs>